Trade ya. I got Smarties. Hmm. I got a dead 9 volt. Tasty, I'll take it. Okay, so we're not Okay, ready. now on to the episode. Trade ya. Really? <laughs> what? I traded you for it. I can do whatever I want with it. Are you going to keep it there the whole vlog while... No, people won't understand what I'm saying. Alright. I, I like this episode, actually. It had a lot of great moments. Plus, I want an Orthos now. An Orthros? Except one that doesn't drool quite as much. I was expecting Fluttershy to keep it. Traded it for a bird call? I want that bear call. Yeah, really. And did Rainbow Dash almost trade? I don't mind a book call. I could summon a book and an army full of birds. To tear everyone apart. Yes. <laughs> I'd go for it, particularly if you could choose a species. Crow. Yeah. Get a murder of crows. This the murder, murder of your crows ends. is to murder you. Oh, 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 I am so delightfully fine. I am so delightfully insane. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, no, I didn't care for that because I wanted Rainbow Dash to get the book. At the expense of selling No, not at the expense of selling Fluttershy, no, but I kind of wished it would happen more like, oh, well, why don't I just take the dog and you keep the book? That was the deal anyway, because that was the deal. Yeah. Fluttershy wasn't part of the deal. But that was not part of the deal. I altered the deal. Pray I do not alter it further. <laughs> That's actually, basically what happened. Yeah, me and my co-workers had a Star Wars marathon last night. Pray I no, do not alter it any further. But yeah, this was a good episode. I just don't know how I feel about the way it ended. Just because I'm a book collector, I've got probably Stephen King's first ten books and scattered others throughout his career on first edition. Mm -hmm. Many of which are worth good money right now, but I never sell them. So I feel like as a collector... I would have, I wanted her to have that book. What was that, the first one? Uh, Sapphire Statue, yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, I mean, come on. The deal was the Orthros for the book. Not the mm -hmm. Orthros and an indentured servant for the book. <clears throat> Plus, I mean, if it was going to be an indentured servant, she may as well trade in the whole stand. <sighs> right. Especially if it's Fluttershy. I wish she'll do a flood. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wasn't she thinking about the animals she has at home? Who's going to feed them? That's a good question. It, it really is, because who's going to feed her animals at home? Probably Rainbow Dash. Oh, what about the other two storylines happening during this? They were kind of in the background. They were definitely background. It was definitely Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy. I love the lesson that... Uh, like, what, they showed up in the backgrounds of the other two plots. Yeah. I love this scene, though, with uh, Applejack and Rarity. I know you're going to love it, because you got it. It's 100, exactly like it, sitting in the drawer, doing nothing. <laughs> it's the rustiest, ugliest, most disgusting thing I've ever found, so I know you'll love it. I exaggerate, <laughs> oh, but that's not that, actually what she yeah, said. Yeah, that, that little passive-aggressive exchange at the end, too. Mm -hmm. And Rainbow Dash taught the lesson. Yeah. Although she learned that same lesson literally that episode, too. Mm -hmm. She just taught it, too. I don't even think it's that she was willing to trade Fluttershy. I think it's that she didn't notice because she was too focused on the book. Yeah, I think so, too. It's like, can I also have your friend as my slave? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, let me get into reading, re 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 reading this book that I'm reading for the first time because it's a first edition. See, I've never had to read a book more than once. Well, except Fear and Loathing just because I love it so much, but... You know, if that was the first edition of Fear and Loathing, I might be willing to trade my brother for it. <laughs> well, your brother doesn't matter to you. Yeah, it's true. He also, but he pays half the bills. Imagine, I don't know, who would you actually give a shit if you traded? That I would actually trade? That you would just get so caught up in the book, you would actually give a shit that you traded him off. See, I don't think I would ever trade a friend for a book, even if I was fully focused on the book. Probably any of my friends, I'd be pretty upset. Well, I only have, like, three friends. There's you, TJ, and... Wow. I know I have at least one more friend. And Matt at work. Yeah. Those are, like... You're, like, the only three people who I consider my actual <laughs> friends and not just well-tolerated acquaintances. Yeah, I got my small circle, too. Circle of salt. Keeps the demons out. 
Mm-hmm. I sleep with a circle of salt around my bed. I don't know if you knew that about me or not. Interesting. That's where all the salt went, though, and everyone got mad. And I have a feeling my brother broke the circle. Mm. But back to this episode. Yes. A rusty old pie tin. It was the rustiest, oldest thing I've ever seen, and I knew you'd love it. It's a book on being stupid, and I knew you'd love it. Uh. Oh, and Twilight not trading her books. I would have done the same thing. Really? Though I feel like it would have been way Sent- better if she gave him to that kid. Sentimental value? Yeah. Although if I was going to give him away, I would have given them to, yes, the kid. Because a kid who's interested Pinky in was books... was scary to that kid. Yeah, Pinky lost some points for me there. Fluttershy is my favorite for the time being. <laughs> for the time being? Because, I mean, it, it's not the fact that you're trying to make a trade. It's the fact that the kid's actually going to read them. Mm-hmm. How often do you find a kid that's willing to better themselves like that? Right. Trade uh, The broken pen, though. <laughs> the broken pen. You want me to trade all my books for a broken pen? And I know the reason she wanted to do it was because she was going to give them to that kid. And she knew the kid would read them, and she knew that it would give him some... Give, or Who her. knows? Maybe it would be the next Alicorn. Was that kid a boy or a girl? I think it was a girl. Is it a boy? I don't think it was either because it was... Well, Schrodinger's pony. Schrodinger's. We don't know whether it was a boy or a girl, so it was both. Alrighty. We'll call that pony Schrodinger. Schrodinger. Or Schrodinger, however it's pronounced. But I saw eyelashes, so my guess is <coughs> possibility. I'm just, I'm still going with Schrodinger's Schrodinger's pony. Okay. But uh, yeah, this episode, uh, the lessons were good. Just the way they learned them was kind of dumb. Like, That's... I knew you'd love this because it's the most disgusting thing I could find. Ugh. And I hate you. And I'm the better friend because I hate you. Yeah, friendship is magic. These two bicker all the time and can't stand to be in each other's presence. <laughs> it's true. It is true. And trying to trade this stuff, I feel like that they should have just went their separate ways on it, but in an impasse. Mm-hmm. Just say, okay, so go get something else. Yeah. Oh, and I did mention the fetch quest flashbacks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Trade this for this, and this for that, and this for that, and this for that, and I'll give you this boomerang. How many of those have you run through? The quest? The fetch quest. I usually skip it because I heard sometimes the sword is crappy. I played it one it time d- and my sword broke. But oh. literally it snapped in half. Oh my god. And the bigger one oh. sword? I think so. Oh no it broke. No, but that one doesn't break. I remember the other uh, I remember the big knife breaking, but not the, the bigger one sword. That's what I was t- thinking about. Oh yeah, the big knife is crap. You gotta go with the bigger one sword. Yeah. That one is really good, but if you're gonna try and deflect like Ganon's multi... well. Uh, Which game is this? Ganondorf. Ocarina of Time. That was my least favorite, actually. Really? A lot of people were shocked by that. I just It just didn't do anything for me. I'm not sure why. I love it. I like Majora better, just because it had that darkness to it. Yeah. Did you, know that, no, did you know that the five different areas of Majora's Mask were the five stages of grief? Really? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Denial, which is Clock Town. Anger in the Swamp. Uh... Third stage is... Denial, anger, depression? Yes, depression, it's which acceptance. is... Acceptance. Hmm? Acceptance. Acceptance is last. Acceptance is last. Like Ikana. And fourth, the fourth stage is bargaining. Yes. In which you have that in... Uh, shoot. What's the uh, area that I'm not thinking of? Snowhead is bargaining because they're pretty much... Putting all their coin, uh, all their bets into this one person saving them. Yeah. What, then you have depression in uh, in the Great ba- uh, in the Great Bay with the loss of the children. Is that the one where uh, um where you t- the, the Zora? Father, yeah. The father gets back to normal from being the mommy, and then his daughter comes in, and his the father realizes yeah, his daughter find, for the first time. Yeah, where you Zora. find. Nah, it's where you find the father dying in the sea. Oh, in the Majora's sea. Majora's Mask. I was talking about this one clock tower. There is much to be feared. Nah, in the, in the clock tower, that's denial. Note how everyone's so insistent on just keeping the carnival going that uh, yeah. they just completely ignore the fact that the moon's getting bigger and coming down toward them. You got 72 hours. There are many things to be feared in the sea. Krakens, Great Cthulhu, Dagon, Hydra. Mm-hmm. Countless buried dead sailors who come back as ghosts to try and steal your soul and drag them down to Davy Jones' footlocker. Ikana is straight out acceptance because they just deal with the fact that they're dead. They know it. 
you help you help the king of Ikana and his two soldiers accept the fact that they're dead. The Ikana Empire is no more. How oh, come people think that you play as a dead link? The, actually, that's another idea if you consider with Twilight Princess, the there's hero some shade. There's under all of those games. Yeah, there's a lot of dark themes in a lot of Zelda games, like even some of the old 8-bits. Ben Drowned. That's a creepy pasta. It's stupid, too. I know. Those are all, most of the haunted games are stupid. Some of them are interesting. Most of, oh god, the haunted VHS ones? Some of those are terrifying. Like, Ed, Ed and Eddie's one? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Oh, how many people were terrified of the ring when it first came out? <laughs> I laughed at it. Really? It looks so, because the monster looks so cheesy. Eh, it's creepier in the Japanese, honestly. Oh god. Ringu? Yeah, that gave me nightmares. Have you ever, oh, I've told you about Uzumaki. There's a movie. <laughs> Just, I haven't even bothered to look it up yet because the trailer made it look that creepy and I know the books. Have you read Gantz? Or seen it? Dude, I have the box set. Gantz? I had to stop I actually, watching when the kid's eyes exploded. I actually know the whole song that the ball sings at the beginning of the games. Gantz? Gantz. That, that, that was a really disgusting manga, but... You know, you can't help but feel sorry for the main character. We got a complete video game tangent. Yeah, let's go back to my... Anthony, when, you, <laughs> when you're talking about fetch quests. Yeah. I will trade you a vintage copy of Majora's Mask for a copy of... I don't even know. I'm done now. Yeah. I, I was on one of those fetch quests in real life once, though. Really? Trying to get a holographic Charizard. I mm. did get it. I traded a holographic Blastoise for a holographic Mewtwo. For the promo Mew one that somebody wanted for some reason, for an entire pile of rare cards that I traded for the Charizard. Damn. Now, if it hadn't been bent, I probably could have made a lot of money off that deal. Mm -hmm. Just like I've got a Rush 40th anniversary calendar that I hung on my wall, in the plastic it's selling for $1,700 right now. Wow. Yeah, I literally kicked myself in the face for that. It might, it's probably still worth two or 300 though, just because it's the fourth 40th anniversary thing and it's signed, but mm -hmm. it's not signed. That's wishful thinking. Yeah, if only. Yeah, for those of you watching, you all know I'm a Rush fan by now. Yeah, by the way, did you upload uh, the... Uh... I actually want to redo that, because we went, I don't want to go off on too many tangents when it comes to an album review. True. It's one thing with our vlogs and whatnot. Because yeah. it's all, usually it's all connected in some way, but uh, with the album review, I really want to, and I want to make the connections we see between Equestria and oh, like Albion. The, oh, like the mirror and the... Uh... Yes, the multiple dimensions, his other mother. Mm -hmm. well, I haven't gotten to the other mother yet. Well, I did just, you find, I've only seen the mirror so far. He doesn't meet his other mother. She wrote the, one of the books he finds in the bookstore. He sees her name there and he says, that's my mother's name. She's like, oh, but it's another I haven't gotten there yet. Not a big spoiler. But how far are you? Honestly, he went to look for the bookstore again and it went missing. Yep, because it's from another dimension. That's, that's where I am. I ended at that chapter. It's so cool. Like all the things they do in that book are just amazing. Like I'm still trying to drudge through it, but honestly, with this week of work, it was just it's over now. Yeah, I'm, I was going cross-eyed just from the headaches I was getting. For the record, people, for those of you who don't know yet, we are going to be doing a review of Clockwork, the album, and the novel. It will be on his separate. It'll channel. be on my channel, Cthulhu Dark Lord. But back to this episode. Yeah, we might want to wrap it up soon. My phone's dying. There's not much more I have to say about this one. I feel like the lesson was more about focusing on was with with Rainbow Dash is that friends are more important than stuff. Yeah. It was more that she was focusing on greed. I really don't think she meant to trade Fluttershy. I think it was more of a kind of okay, like yeah, a, sure. Kind of like Pinky making Fluttershy cry multiple times in Philly Vanilli. She lost a lot of points for me there. Wouldn't doubt Crawling it. up the wall gained them all back, though. <laughs> that was awesome. That was freaky. I could do that. Want to see? I'd rather not. Okay. Fair enough. I'd rather not. I, wa I wouldn't want to explain to the neighbors why they're hearing thud, thud on their floor. Oh, and I'd be making freaky noises, too. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think my neighbors wouldn't be wondering what the hell we're doing down here. <laughs> And then if they came in to see what was going on, I'd twist my head backward and say, Hello. Bring me some tacos. And I won't swallow your soul. 
See why I hang out with this guy? Yes. <laughs> He's just a little bit crazy, that guy. Just a little bit. Crazy is a term of art, insane is a term of law. Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah, I love that guy. We need to do that tribute. Oh yeah, that has to happen. I want that. I want that more than anything to come out. Considering that we're probably gonna, we're actually gonna wrap up the season this uh, tonight. Oh yeah, we. What what time is it? It's almost three o'clock. We got four more episodes left. Five more episodes left. It's gonna get done today. Yeah, we're totally gonna. Get I think we intended to last time, but we both got too tired. Yeah, I think so too. Like we were planning on just pulling the late nighter, but we got an early start today. Yeah. But, yeah, I like this episode. I would put it towards the bottom of my top tier. I did enjoy all the comedy and all the silliness and the fact that... And Rainbow Dash's faces bring that up. She made so many awesome faces in this episode. You couldn't mean everyone made more made awesome faces. But did Dash's you, were the best. What about Pinky's when she was threatening the girl? <laughs> I was more focused on the threats. Yeah, that's... I think Pinky's insane. and That's the term of law I'm using here. I think she's mentally unbalanced. She's still my favorite, though. Well, they clearly have a psych center in their hospital, considering Screwball. Woof! Woof! <laughs> screw loose? Oh, yeah, Screw loose. I really want to put her in Call of Cthulhu if we ever make it, and just have her see Cthulhu and just start barking. Oh, oh, like, just... Oh, oh. <laughs> That's what she gets her cutie mark. The screw. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't have much more to say about this, and we're going to end up going off on our planned projects if we keep going, so... Yeah. All I really have to say just is even I like random this one. ideas we may or may not throw in. Oh, the Lovecraft trilogy is happening. If I have to do it by myself, it will happen. Yeah, we'll see. But I'm sure you want to help with that. Yeah, I'm just more focused on our own adventures so far. Yeah. See, my problem is I can't focus on one thing. I'm always, I've always got forty thousand stories going on in my head at once. I'm mm-hmm. a writer, though. What can you do? Anyway, we'll see you guys next time after inspiration manifestation. Bye, everyone. <laughs>